Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have for you my February wrap up. Um, it's not quite the end of February yet, but pretty much. And no other books are going to be added to this list after today. <laughs> so, unfortunately, in February, I did not read as much as I had planned to or wanted to. And I don't really know why. I think I just overestimated my skills. So, um, yeah. But I do have a couple of books. I've got my sticky note of what I read. So the first book I'm going to talk about is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. If you don't know, this book is about a girl who makes a deal with a dark entity to escape an arranged marriage. And the deal is that she's going to be free for however long she wants until she decides not to be in exchange for, well, the caveat is that no one remembers her. So as soon as someone leaves her site after meeting her, or they, she leaves their site. They forget who she is and that she ever existed and she can't leave a mark on the world until one day she meets someone who remembers her. This book has been getting so much hype and it's well-deserved. I love this book. Five out of five stars. I love V.E. Schwab. Everything she does is just beautiful, in my opinion. Um, Yes. So my thoughts. The writing was majestic. It was beautiful. It was lyrical. Um, I love V. E. Schwab's writing style. It's just so awesome. And it's, it really shines in this book. I loved going throughout history and all the different places and seeing um, different events unfold around Addie. I loved Henry as a human being. I know some people aren't his biggest fan, but I love him. Um, I related to him in a lot of ways. Um, but I just love seeing Addie's character growth throughout the centuries as she learned more about her curse. I loved the end, I feel like the end was fitting to this book, um, and it was realistic. And I thought that, I think that if it had ended any other way, I don't know. I, I, I was at peace with the end. It did make me cry. I was, I was crying pretty heavily. Um, yeah, five out of five stars. I think everyone should read it. There's a movie coming out. Um, and I really think this is some of her best work. I'm excited to see what she does in the future. There it is. Okay, the next book I read, I read as an ebook. I think it goes right here. I'm not sure. Yeah, right here. And so the next book I read was A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. This is the sequel to From Blood and Ash. Um... <clears throat> I liked this book. I liked it better than From Blood and Ash. I think the writing improved slightly. Still not my favorite um, from my last January wrap up. You'll know that the writing's not my favorite. And this book, I really, oh, I didn't tell you what it's about. The series is about vampires and there's a girl, Poppy who's the maiden and she's like secluded from society but she starts rebelling and she has to fight vampires and etc etc I don't really know so I've read past the second book and I still don't really know what's going on or the world or what's happening um I'm in this for the romance nothing else every time she writes world building I don't digest it at all and I reread it over and over again like the sentences and it still just doesn't make any sense so I'm in this for the romance and nothing else 
anyway, back to my thoughts. Um, I liked Poppy's character development in this book. And from Blood and Ash, she really annoyed me most of the time, but she was less annoying in this book. And I liked her growth. Um, same goes for Hawk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same goes for Hawk. I like, I love him. I love them together. So, yes. The ending took me by surprise, um, to say the least. I'm really excited. Well, I'm anticipating the next book. I can't remember. It's a crown with something. I don't know what the name is, but it comes out in April. So I, I am excited. And I will be reading that in April when it comes out. Um, yeah, the ending was, it was kind of too fast for me. And this happens a lot in fantasies where like at the last 10 pages, something really big will happen. And there's just so much going on and it's written very fast because they're trying to end it. And it's trying to make you feel anxious. And I don't know if it's just because I do feel anxious or if it's like the writing or the pacing, but I didn't really fully understand what was happening. I had to look and like Google the ending because I was like, did I understand that right? But it was exciting. Pretty big cliffhanger. I gave it a four out of five stars. But I did like it better than From Blood and Ash. Okay, next book I read was The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Um, this was a reread. And then I read these. Um, in the future, I'm going, and I think it's like two weeks from now, I'm going to drop my spoiler-filled review from this for this trilogy. So I'm going to save the majority of my thoughts for there. Um, but this book in this trilogy is about a girl named Jude who is human, whose parents were really murdered by a fairy general. And he then takes her and her sisters and adopts them and takes them into fairyland. And Jude is trying to make a name for herself as a human in her home, which doesn't always accept her. And I really enjoyed, let me get the other ones. I really enjoyed reading this, as you will see. Um, not my favorite trilogy, but it's pretty good. I think it definitely lives up to the hype. Maybe not this book. I gave The Cool Prince a four out of five stars. I gave The Wicked King a five out of five stars. And I gave The Queen of Nothing a four and a half out of five stars. And you will have to wait and see why. But overall, although the writing's not particularly to my taste, nor my favorite. Um, I really liked it all around. Love the romance. I love the character development. Love the political intrigue. Yeah. Um, that's, those are those thoughts on this. I don't really know what else to say because I filmed like a 30 minute video talking about it. So you're going to have to wait for my full thoughts. Okay, the last book that I finished in the month of February was another ebook and it is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Um, I realize this list of what I read does not match up to the February um, TBR I did a couple of weeks ago, but I said that could happen. So is this going to be a recurring theme? Um, this came in well, actually, this was available in the library, and I read it, and I really liked it. Gave it a four and a half out of five stars. What is it about? It is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and main character, Harper, is taken to this alternate world dimension. I don't know. And, um, you know, there's a curse on a prince. They have to fall in love. Neither of them think they're going to fall in love. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, and stuff unfolds. I really enjoyed this book more than I thought I would. Um, I really liked Harper as a protagonist. 
she is very strong and powerful and independent. And I love that. And it wasn't in a somewhat, because sometimes in YA, especially female protagonists who are depicted as strong and independent from the beginning, um, it can, they can shove it down your throat a little too much. And it's like, we get it. You know what I'm saying? Like it can be kind of annoying almost. <laughs> do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like it can be pushed really hard and it's like, let us see for ourselves. I don't want to be told. I want to see. And so I think that she was really well done in this book. Um, there is disability rep. That's nice to see. We love it. Um, I liked the romance pretty well. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. The writing was pretty good. Um, I do wish it had been in third person because we had different point of views. And so, although I like third person all the time, I really prefer it when we're switching point of views. But, um, it didn't really detract. It's just something I wanted to throw in there. The end was good. I liked how everything wrapped up but we still left open for the second book. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this book. I really liked it. It was good entertainment. It was a really good retelling because it was still Beauty and the Beast, but different. <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Four and a half out of five stars. Okay, now for the two books I'm currently reading. I don't know whether to... They'll be in my wrap-up, too. But, like, they'll be in next month's wrap-up, too, with my final thoughts. But I wanted to give you a hint. So what I'm currently reading is Trick Mirror. Is this right way up? Yes. By Gia. Um, this is my pick, or my book club's pick, for January through March. I have until March 11th to finish it. I'm over halfway. It's pretty good. It's the full title is Trick Mirror Reflections on Self Delusion. It's um how many? I can't remember. Nine. We've got nine essays. I've read five of them, I think. Wow. Good job, Haley. Yes, I've read five and a half of them. And um, we've, we've got a lot of stuff going on. You know, she's talking about social media a lot, um, feminism, etc. My favorite story thus far has been Reality TV Me. She talks about being on a reality TV show when she was younger. And it was very entertaining. I have marked... A lot of things up. These tabs, the colors don't even make sense, but it's okay. And it's pretty interesting. I don't really know how I'm going to rate this. So like, you know, how do I rate nonfiction? I don't know yet. The writing is good. Sometimes it can get a little wordy and confusing for someone like me, but she has a really specific style, and it's pretty relatable. She's really funny. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know whether or not to recommend this. Would I have picked this up off the shelf and read it if it weren't for my book club? No. Can I tell you to go buy it? N no. I mean, if you want to. We'll see in, her wrap in my wrap-up. Okay, this last book I'm going to talk about. I'm reading is A Heart So Fierce and Broken, which is the second book in the Curse So Dark and Lonely trilogy. Is that what the trilogy is called? I don't know. This book has taken me forever to read. I've been reading it for like five days, seven days now, and I'm not even 30% in. I don't know what it is. I'm just not reading at night. It's probably because I've started watching new shows. But it's, um, I don't know. 
because I'm not 20% in or 30% in, I can't really tell you any thoughts. Um, it focuses on two other characters from A Curse of Dark and Lonely, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's taken me forever. And between finishing A Curse of Dark and Lonely and starting this book, I did start another book from my library. Can't even remember the name, but I was not interested. So I returned that early when this hold came in. So yeah, I DNF'd a book. I might go back and read it. Maybe? I don't know. It wasn't really my vibe. Maybe I'm just not in a reading on my phone mood right now. I don't know what it is, guys. But yeah, those are my thoughts. That's it for this video. Probably the fastest video I've ever recorded. Um, I hope you liked it. I'm going to be wearing this exact same outfit in my March TBR. <laughs> um, so you'll see an identical me in a week. Um, yeah, it should be interesting. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you read in February. Overall, good month. I just didn't read as much as I would have liked or expected. Anywho, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I forgot the guns in my um, Cool Prince A Folk of the Air, the Folk of the Air series video. I edited it, I pre-filmed it and pre-edited it, and I forgot the guns, which is, they're the signature, the guns. So here they are. Like, subscribe, maybe, if you want. Um, I don't know, I hate saying that. We're gonna end the video. I think the official outro is going to be peace out, goodbye, in the video.